Is there any relationship between democracy and shirk in Akhirul Zaman? Of course. Of course. <laughs> democracy has come as part of a package. The package includes the modern state, the modern republican state, the modern monarchy. The Khilafah state in Islam and medieval Christian Europe and the Hindu state, they all recognize something above as supreme. <laughs> in the case of the Khilafah state, Allah is Al Malik, Allah's sovereignty. Allah's authority, Allah's law is supreme. Dajjal came with the modern state. And the modern state around the world today, whether you have Islam as your state religion or not, whether you call yourself the Islamic Republic of Pakistan or the American Republic of Pakistan, the modern state says Allah is not Al-Malik. No. Who is Al-Malik? From the time you sign to accede to the charter of the United Nations organization. The charter of the United Nations organization makes it obligatory on you to submit to the supreme authority of the Security Council. Allah could tell you something else, but when the Security Council orders, you have to obey. Once you accede to the Charter of the United Nations, you're committing shirk. Iran had a revolution 35 years ago. I was in Iran last month to tell them that. 35 years now when you still cannot recognize in Iran that you're in shirk by being a member of the United Nations organization. Hmm? The modern state says Allah can make it haram, riba. But we can make it halal. Is it halal in Malaysia? My question to you, is it permissible in Malaysia to lend money and interest? How come you're so quiet? <laughs> yeah. Malaysia, you have made it halal. You made it halal. Banks lend money and interest all the time, including Islamic banks doing it from the back door. Islamic banks are lending money and interest through the back door. The commercial banks are doing it through the front door, the Islamic bank is doing it through the back door. But they will not challenge me, no. No, they will not challenge me. So it's halal. Allah made it haram and you made it halal all around the world today. If you make halal what Allah made haram, what sin is that called? Answer? It's called shirk. Where's the evidence? Surah to Tawbah. Surah to Tawbah. So yes, democracy is part of a package. Democracy is also part of a package called elections. And through elections, you choose your government. But there's something called accountability. If you make a choice, you should be held accountable for your choice. Accountability. But Dajjal is very clever. In elections, there's no accountability. Because you make your choice anonymously. <laughs> You see, oh...